Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends at Yarnspirations.com. We have a beginner level circle scrubby. Now the scrubby yarn is kind of hard to see the stitches on camera but it's actually really great and it's a great product to use. It does not hold any water so it is perfect for those applications of scrubbing. Um, I have these for the bathroom for scrubbing the tubs and stuff. Awesome. You can find the scrubby in different kinds of versions. This is more of a Christmassy kind of version that you see. It has, has a bit of a sparkle to it and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm going to be demonstrating with Karen one pound yarn today so that you can see exactly where the stitches need to go because chances are if you need a tutorial you need to know where to stick your hook and that's <laughs> what I'm gonna do for you today. I'll show you where to stick it. So let's begin with our journey. You'll need a five and a half millimeter size eye crochet hook in order to play. Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. I'm not very for tutorial reasons I'm going to list this as an easy level. It is almost a beginner level but if you can't see where to stick your um, uh, stitches it may be a little bit misleading but it is beginner level. So I am using Karen One Pound. Do not use Karen One Pound or an acrylic like Super Saver or Bernat Super Value as your kitchen scrubby because it is acrylic. You need something like a scrubby yarn that is more of a different kind of uh, product or you can use 100% cotton like Lily Sugar and Cream, Peaches and Cream or Bernat Handicrafter. So let's begin by chaining four. So just one, two, three and four and let's stick our hook in the beginning chain. So all the way over here and let's go over there, stick your hook in and we're gonna yarn over and pull through. And we now have the center ring like so. So this straggler that you'll have even with your scrubby, I want you to pretend that it's part of the round and just go around it so that it gets stuck underneath the stitches. Let's begin round number one. In round number one we're gonna go around the center of this. So to do that you're going to chain three. So one, two and three. That counts as your first double crochet. So now we're going to do 11 more double crochets into the center of this ring. To do that you're gonna yarn over and then going into the center of the ring and keep that straggler right on top of that ring so that it gets stuck underneath the stitches and let's double crochet. I'm going to assume you know how to double crochet. If not just follow what I can show you and we have tutorials available too. So yarning over into the ring yarn over pull through. You have three loops left. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. So yarn over and into the ring. Pull through. Yarn over pull through two and two. And you'll keep doing that all the way around. So I like to put in a whack which is my slang for many or a lot and I just keep slamming them in until I get to what I think is close and then I'm gonna recount when I think that there's enough. It's just experience that tells me if you like the count individually then you can do so. It's your creativity at the end of the day. So let's give it a count. We wanna count the number of spokes. These they are called posts. So you count that one that was the chain three. So that's one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So continuing I gotta have two more. So I counted the chain three as one. So I gotta do two more so this will be number 11 and 12. So there's technically one chain three and 11 double crochets that gives you the number of 12 spokes. Once you're happy with that I need you to slip stitch then to the top of the top of the chain three and that's where your story is going to continue as we begin our journey into round number two. So just slip and slip. If you've been going over the top of the center of the straggler here. You can just safely cut that now. Just be very careful with your scrubby that you don't cut something because there's extra pieces hanging out of it to help scrub and we'll begin round number two. In round number two we're going to chain three. So that account as a double crochet. And in the same one you're going to double crochet. So right where you slip stitched that's where you're gonna stick another double crochet. Each stitch all the way round is now going to have two double crochets in each and this allows it to expand to get bigger. So if there is 12 stitches going all the way around and you're putting two stitches in each how many double crochets will you end up with? If you said 24 you are right. 
so you can help yourself to a cookie. So remember that the chain three does count as a stitch. So let's just double crochet around. Nice and easy and this allows it to grow out so it'll be flat. Now in crochet you always end up with a space that looks like it doesn't belong and because you're doing scrubby it's not gonna be very obvious but you have one more stitch left to fill in. So there will be two there. So there should be 24 double crochets around here. So here right where I'm pointing with my middle finger is that that looks like it's a stitch. It's actually part of the first chain three and people accidentally put stitches in there. So if you feel like you need to because it's a scrub you can get away with it but um, it's technically not right. So you should be able to count 12 groups of two double crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Once you're happy just slip stitch to the top of the uh, chain three again and then we're gonna begin our final round to complete your scrubby today. So we're going to continue to grow this out. So if you've ever done circles before it's the same thing as what you know. So we have to make sure that it grows out incrementally so that it will stay flat and if you don't then it starts to buckle up. So to start you're going to chain three. That is considered your first double crochet and it's considered the first stitch that it's coming out of. In the next stitch I need you to place in two double crochet. So the sequence for round number three and I'll tell you what it is because that's why you're here is that it's going to be one double crochet by itself and then two into the next stitch. So if that's gonna be the case the next one has to be one double crochet by itself and then two double crochets in the next. And you're gonna do this all the way around and it will give you a count of 36 double crochet. You know it's a scrubby. I wouldn't worry about it so much of the counting. It just go with it right. So if there's two into this one that means there has to be one into the next and then two into the next one after that. And I want you to keep that sequence going all the way around for round number three and I'll be back in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around to the very end and the very last stitch if you're keeping in the sequence should be two double crochet in there. Okay. So once you have that done you're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain three and then that's it. So I'm going to cover on how to weave in the end. So let's just trim our yarn and it won't matter on the scrubby so much because you know it's, su it's such a, um, a product that's neat that it, uh, it doesn't really show you the stitch definition. It just is all bulked together. But what you would like to do is put the tail end through a tapestry needle and I need you just to drag it through even including the scrubby just drag it through some of the uh, fibers that are in there. The longer you drag it the better off that you'll be. So don't cut that strand too short. Okay and then once you go in one direction you'll go in the next. So this is a great uh, little project. If you do craft shows or anything like this this is a, a few dollar product, uh, product that you can put on your table in a little basket. Uh, people like scrubbies uh, generally speaking. They're very practical great gifts. Um, you know a ball can do probably several of these and uh, it's a really great idea. So if you just trace it back and forth a total of three times and then you can cut it straight on down and therefore you can have a little scrubby and this is how you do it and uh, remember to use a scrubby yarn or use 100% uh, cotton for that or you'll be in trouble. So don't use anything like this like a Karen one pound or a Red Heart Super Saver and etc. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon right here in the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends at Yarnspirations.com. Bye-bye.